What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Killer Cam Fred coming back at you with another Madden 24 banger. Today, we're going over the next part of our spread offensive ebook. I hope you guys enjoy this. It is going to be a ton of fun. You guys saw the MCS on Wednesday. The spread offensive playbook having a ton of success online. This could win you thousands of dollars if you master it. So make sure you check out all parts of our spread offensive ebook and try to win fans off competitive Madden. Alright boys, so we are here in the spread playbook. Of course, today we're going to be going over Y off trips week. Now, I like to set my audibles just like this. Motion Z spot, Y lead, read option, motion pump and go, and motion halfback swing. Why so many motion passes? Because it really bothers people. Um, it's really frustrating to play. If you guys have seen any of my gameplays, you guys will know I run slot offset a lot. And it's really, really hard to deal with. First thing I want to go over, though, is the run plays. Inside zone split is a pretty, pretty good run. Now, just for the sake of not being really annoyed uh, in general on this, I'm going to take my dominant pass rushers out my inside stuff so I don't have to deal with that. Uh, but this is a very, very good run play. Um, you guys can get to the outside easily, as you guys can see right there, and you're able to pick up huge yardage. Now, the Y lead read option, very similar to this. Um, you have a pulling guard, except this, you obviously have the option to keep it with your quarterback. Um, if you do have the ability to keep it with your quarterback and that end bites down, uh, he didn't right there, but you have the potential to pick up huge yardage, especially against any kind of man coverage shell. Now, a lot of the time, he's going to play the quarterback, as you guys see right there, but we're still able to pick up a couple yards, not too bad, and the handoff to the running back is very, very good. Another run play we have in here that I've talked about, and I love it against any kind of zone coverage, and that is going to be the outside zone. The outside zone is very, very good against zone coverage. I'm going to go ahead and back these guys up just a little bit, uh, that way when we get to our passing plays, it's a little bit easier to deal with. But against any kind of zone coverage, this outside zone, as long as you can get to the outside, uh, like you see right here, we're able to pick up a few yards, and this has massive big play potential. You just have to make sure you find the right running lane and actually are able to pick up a block. Um, if your blocking scheme blocks like you're supposed to, especially against like a dollar kind of front, um, you're going to pick up huge yardage on this outside zone run. Right there, we were not able to bust one, but trust me, guys, this run is really, really good. A play that I talk about a lot is um, in slot offset, we have the swing routes left and right, where you have the option to keep it with the other running back, and I love this concept. Now, right here, you only have the option to either throw it or keep it with your quarterback just like this, but when there is a running lane to keep it with the quarterback, you're going to pick up yardage a lot of the time. Right there we fumbled, not something that's going to happen a whole lot, and it's kind of hard to get out of the pocket in this, but the swing pass is awesome right here. As you guys can see, it just takes one block, and you're going to be able to hit that hole up the field really, really quickly for a huge gain. This is really, really hard to guard, and it's really annoying, to be honest with you. It's one of the more annoying things to face in this game, and you guys saw it in the MCS. This was something that... Um, got somebody all the way to the live event and they made thousands of dollars running this kind of concept out of this very playbook so we've seen success with this at the highest level i absolutely love this motion swing play so next i want to talk about the play motion pump and go and let me go ahead and back these guys up again um i actually got kicked out of practice mode so that's a little unfortunate but we're back and um the way i like to set this up First setup is just going to be to put our tight end on post route. Does a really great job against man coverage. These tight end posts are phenomenal at beating their man. We got a little bit of a shed right there, unfortunately, but you guys are going to notice that these get open consistently. You can keep the running back on the swing route. If it's open, you can always throw it down to that running back. Um, you can get their other receivers out of the way, and that'll help with that kind of lane to cut that to the outside. But these tight end post routes are awesome. If you guys don't have Hot Route Master or Tight End Apprentice, I really recommend you get it because this is one of those routes that is consistently good against both man and zone. The next setup I want to talk about, though, is a little bit different. So you guys see this S post on the outside. Um, I like to put my tight end on a corner route, my running back on an angle route. Then you can whip this outside receiver. Um, or the slot receiver and then you can really do whatever you want with this other guy You can put him on a whip too But the main thing is this s post and how you throw this is very very important So you want to make sure that you throw it before the break you guys see how much separation he gets there against his man Now that wasn't a great throw um, There are better ways to throw this obviously But this is something that consistently beats man coverage very very consistently once you get the timing down You guys will be in the money 
you guys see, he just does gets like a free release off the press, and that bullet pass usually isn't the best. You want to make sure you lob it. Um, one other thing you can do with this is actually throw it early, um, because he beats his press by so much. He doesn't even really get the press animation off, but you can throw it like this, and it's going to be an easy one-play score against any kind of press man coverage. This route is phenomenal against press man, and you need to be adding it to your offense. So as good as this play is against man, it is just as good against zone. And you guys know I've talked about these wheel route concepts in the past, but the number one thing um, I, I like to do here is streak this outside receiver. Now, if you want to keep him on that S post, you can. And I'll show you guys that concept right here. Uh, I would usually set it up like this or like this if we're going to keep him on that S post. But that wheel route, as soon as it gets outside of that flat route uh, or that flat coverage defender, um, whether he be in a hard flat, uh, zone drop, or a um, you know a five yard curl, or even just a stock curl flat, that wheel route on the sideline is going to get major separation. Um, as soon as he passes that flat defender, you're in the money because you have that S this S post clearing out that deep zone. So you can do a lot of stuff with this here, but I actually like to put him on a streak better. So it's going to give you even more of a window to throw this, and it's going to be a lot easier to throw. As you guys can see right there, we have a lot more space to hit him in the open field, hopefully make somebody miss, and be able to score. Now, another way we can do this, and I actually like to run this um, to the opposite side of the field on the left hash right here. I like to do the same thing, except um, you can kind of, I kind of like to put my tight end on a corner route. In this scenario, I like to leave the auto motion. You put your slot receiver on a streak, and then we're going to try to buy some time in the pocket if we're able to. And you guys see uh, that S post was getting wide open for a one play touchdown. So we'll go over this one more time. Um, corner route, streak, and then comeback route, just like that. And we're going to be in the money for a one play touchdown as long as we have time. That is the key thing, having time. But you guys see how wide open that gets. Easy, easy one play score against cover three. Next play I want to talk about is post and cross, and uh, this is kind of a unique play too. This little fade route from Randy Moss on the outside does an awesome job against man too. Usually you can just lob it up, and it'll be a rack touchdown if there's any kind of press man coverage. It just gets a really, really nice release to the outside. Um, other things you can do with this play, drag your tight end, put your running back on an angle route, and you can leave this guy on a crosser, or you can put him on a, a post route. That slot receiver, the post routes do a little bit better job at getting separation against man, but this post is really, really money against man too. You guys see this offense should not struggle against press or off man coverage. It's just really, really good. Um, every route in this play is going to fry. Fry, fry, fry man coverage in general. You guys see that crosser get an amazing separation, and we're able to rack it up the field for about 30 yards. So again, zone coverage this play is really good too. Honestly, kind of just stock. It's really good. I'll show you guys against a cover four right here because we went over a cover three last time. But you can just kind of snap this ball. And the one thing you got to worry about is that kind of delay um, flat route from the tight end. I actually like to put him on a regular flat route. But those, those ghost routes from the running back do an awesome job at uh, kind of pulling down these zones, any kind of flat zones. They're also a really good check down. So if you want to hit him in the flat real easily, just like that, you can make somebody miss. Get upfield for about 5, 10 yards, if not more, if you make somebody miss. But what it does is um, kind of pulls that flat down so you can throw that crosser over the middle of the field just like that. That's something they're going to have to use her. If they don't use her, it, it's easy yards every single time. Now, um, I guess to cover three, this is another one of those things where we can have one play touchdown potential possibly against the cover four but you're gonna have to set it up just right um so it's gonna have to be comeback route right here you're gonna have to put this guy on a streak and the same kind of thing we went over last time now you can block the tight end and double team if you want to buy a little bit more time but the main thing is this post has to get over uh, and it was gonna get over that quarter flat in the middle there's nobody to to really defend it so um, that inside quarter 
on the left side kind of just stays inside, plays really shallow, and the inside quarter on the right side gets pulled down by the streak. And you guys see that he is wide open for a one-play touchdown. We just didn't have the time to throw it. Uh, this is going to work against a cover three, too. Uh, but this is more of a, you know, cover four beater uh, that I like right here. But it also does work against a cover three. You guys see I'm getting major separation. Like, there's an easy 10-yard window we can throw that pass. It's really just a matter of buying time in the pocket, which is kind of frustrating in this practice mode in general. But you guys see how that post route's developing over the top. As soon as it passes that inside quarter on the right side, easy one play score. So the second to last play I want to go over is PA slide. And I really only like this play against man coverage. And the only reason I like it is this kind of route from Randy Moss. It just fries man coverage. Now right there, um, I threw it way too late. What I actually like to do is cancel the play action. You put your running back on like an out route or something but you guys see it just fries off the press so you don't want to wait for it to develop too much or else it's going to be kind of a tough throw downfield i'll show you guys that right now um but if you you see i see it just burns press it just does uh you can throw this like that and it's an aggressive catch opportunity randy moss is just kind of like that but this route is really good for aggressive catch aggressive catching in general um, the main thing is just how it does off the press, though. You guys see it's an easy press win every single time and a one-play touchdown against any kind of press man coverage. Next, real quickly, I want to go over four verticals, and I'm really only going to go over this against a cover three. I will go cover three cloud this time, something a little bit different. If you put this guy on a comeback route, um, it takes a minute to develop, but this crosser ends up being a one-play touchdown. As you guys see, you just got to wait for it to get over that safety on that left side. It's a consistent one play touchdown. It's just a matter of having time to throw it. Um, you also have the seam route, which is really, really good against the cover three right here, just like that. And if you really want to, you can come back route on both sides and have an opportunity to throw uh, that comeback route to either side against any kind of zone coverage for easy yardage. So four verticals is a play that doesn't get talked about enough, but it is really, really good, and there are specific ways you can run it to make it even better. Uh, this crosser over the top is an awesome one-play score, though, and something that most people aren't going to see coming that only got knocked out because of the universal coverage right there. So last thing I want to go over against man coverage, this play is really good, too. Um, just because of this zig route from the slot, it's not a normal zig route. It runs way deeper. So if you need a few yards for a first down, this is an awesome option. We also have the backside dig. And then we have the C route, which does a really good job at beating press man immediately. Also off man. So if you need a quick throw uh, in general, this is usually a pretty good option. Right there, we missed the throw a couple times. But you guys see how good this play can be against man coverage as well. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn that noti bell on so you're notified every time I put another part out to our spread offensive ebook. Hope you guys enjoyed. This dominated the MCS this week. And I am really glad to see that this is having a lot of competitive success. Hopefully more people will catch on and start running this potent offense. But as always, it's your boy Killer Camp Friend. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.